Hello everyone, welcome to another Sakura Stan video and today I'll be talking about the Bari Bari no Mi as a ability in this game. So, the Bari Bari no Mi is a Paramecia type uh, devil fruit that allows user to generate barriers within limited range. I've also talked about the item previously on my previous video, but if, um... But if you're curious on how you can get the item to get this spec, uh, you need to wait. Uh, it's, it has a spawn chance of 1 out of 6 randomly anytime between 45 to 75 minutes under any tree. So you literally have to wait in between 45 to 75 minutes in hopes for a Bari Bari Devil Fruit to spawn. Literally. So right now, I'm going to show you the item first. To take it out now as you can see here this is what the bari bari no me looks like and i'm gonna go ahead and eat this to finally be able to get the actual um uh, the actual thing so let me just go ahead and eat that and now that i've finally eaten it i can now pose to show off my bari bari no me pretty much I wish it did like some type of like aura that shows it to you, but let's go over to these people here because they're literally having a group hug. They're literally having a group hug. Just generally. Waiting for Midnight Cross or Mochi Awakening. Nah. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, let's finally just do a video on the Bari Bari no Mi itself and what this thing has to offer, whether or not it's even worth, I accidentally clicked something, whether or not this is even worth getting. To some people, it might be something that you might not have been wanting at all. For me, I've not wanted this. I just got this because some people are like, eh, let's do this i don't know why so let me just uh do this and it seems like i accidentally like what what i'm clicking the left mouse button by the way and when i click the left mouse button it created a barrier what e the e does Click E again. What? Barrier crash. Oh! Okay! So, this is what the actual... This is my first time getting this in my entire life. And pretty much, what you can do with this is that... When you click... Oh, let's take this up. When you, uh, when you click the left mouse button, you create this kind of wall. And when you click, for example, E... You can do different moves that has something to do with the barrier that you created. So right now, we with the left mouse button, you create a barrier. With the Q button, okay, when you click Q, you you release the barrier, making sure that the barrier like you delete. You pretty much just delete your barrier. You you click the left mouse button, you create a barrier, and then you click Q to de to delete your barrier. The next one is when you create a barrier and you want to be able to use this barrier to hurt other people, you just click E to do a barrier crash, crash, and pretty much it launches a barrier towards the enemy at high speed, smash it against them. So this here is used to make a continuous kind of like barrier type of thing. So the next one is going to be the uh, barrier slam. So let's go ahead and left click. And then click R. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. And this one here is range. And it's kind of is a little bit broken, I guess. Because if you see here, I'm the one getting smashed instead of them. Clearly, that wasn't part of the plan. Let's do that one more time. Click. And then click R. Oh, I have to wait. Come on. Click R. The barrier slam. Boom. So it's supposed to be this, but I kind of wish there's like a 
distance between me and the barrier itself so that I don't get stuck underneath the barrier itself. So that's uh, the barrier slam. The next one is the barrier spear. And pretty much this is like the one on the ultra unfair one. Just click to create the barrier. Click T to create some type of spear around you. Making sure that your enemy isn't... Uh, cannot get outside of the barrier and you can literally use that as an opportunity to fight them but then again you can't fight them because you cannot punch them so that was the most useless barrier alive what i mean that made no sense on using such barrier let's do it again but let's do it with a different one so the next one is going to be the barrier aircraft and this one here, when you click the left mouse button, you click a barrier, and then when you click Y, wrong button, you click this, and then you click Y, it creates that. So that there is a barrier aircraft, and what it does is that your barrier turns into paper airplanes, which will just hurl around and knocking everything in its path. So you can just literally do this, like stack them, and then you make a wall, click Y, and literally, just going there would hit anybody. Next one is going to be the Bari Bari No Pistol. So this one here is pretty cool. And this one here you can actually probably combine with the barrier itself. So you click the barrier, click T, you make a circular thing. And when you click G, you do this. Which you can combine with the, uh, with the barrier. Which is really neat. Because then you still have this barrier around. Which, make sure that you don't accidentally click the left mouse button. Because if you do so, you're going to make another barrier. Which um, will uh, destroy your barrier spear. But then again, your barrier spear will just go away automatically. So that there, the body body no pistol is really good. In my opinion. Because you can literally see. I'll do it one more, one more time later. But let's go with the next one. Which is the barrier racket. Now this one here you just click H and this is what it looks like. You're just gonna have like some type of like a pan barrier, like the frying pan, shape of a frying pan barrier, and you just slap your opponent. That's it, or a racket. And then that's pretty much it. So literally the only thing that actually deals damage without creating a barrier is going to be the Bari Bari pistol. This is the only thing that I like about the Bari Bari no me. Uh, move, uh, the Barbara no Mi fruit or spec. Like, if you click G, it does this. I love it. Good animation, it works pretty good, and it's AOE. I just love it. The other parts, they're annoying AF. They're just very, very annoying, and I will never, probably will never, ever use this stand here, this spec here, because I think it's not worth your time. You can literally just different combination if you want to. You can even uh, do some uh, things like you can still use this barrier to create a, sp a spear and then do some combos if you want to. But for my opinion, if you're the type of person that want to use the reuse stuff that's in front of you, go ahead. If you're that type of person that is very used to just using your punches, then no, don't use this one. Because literally this will ruin your vibe and you're just going to feel that I'm not clicking the left mouse button much. And I'm just using the ones on the keyboard. This, uh, this spec here is used for those who are comfortable in doing some, adding some combos using this uh, fruit here. Because for me, it just doesn't feel like something that i would want to have or use at all it depends on the type of person because you can't even do a single punch you can't do a continuous damage the only thing you can do is make a barrier click e multiply make a barrier you can't even redo the barrier crash again there's remember every move that you have has a cooldown so you have to wait for those cooldown to be done before you actually deal a damage once again you're just gonna create multiple barriers and once again the barrier even have a cooldown and you're just stuck in this continuous way of just making barriers without even dealing any damage 
and this here is just completely just barrier dis resistance this is only for defense and there's nothing else more which is pretty idiotic in my opinion but once again i think they're trying to make it uh, make this spec here not that op to make sure that the other stuff are more op than this one here and just makes it a little bit more ba balanced but it depends on the player who uses this because the player who might uh who is probably pro in this game and knows a lot more than i do and how to do some combos and how to uh use your moves more gratefully and better than it was before then that person there is truly amazing and i salute that person because literally if i was the person using this on a 1v1 with somebody else i would probably have died immediately because i don't even know what i can use for this in a combat situation rather than just on a defense mode but yes, this is just my opinion, and as you can probably see, this is what the Bari Bari no Mi has to offer. There isn't really anything more that it can give you other than that. So if you have any question about the Bari Bari no Mi, go ahead and ask me any question is available. I was able to practically show you what it has to offer, all of its animations, all of its movesets, you was able to see and how they work and oh, you was also able to see its cooldown and it's uh, literally everything. For those who are curious if it's worth it, in my opinion, it depends on the user itself. If that person is very good at combo, yeah, I guess it's worth it. But for those who are just beginners and don't fully understand and would just rather go for a full on damage and just go on full on just a deal a dealer then i don't recommend you using this um spec at all i wouldn't even recommend you to waste your time on getting a single devil fruit that will probably take you hours on end just to get it's not worth it and you should always think this true. Look, if you're trying to get something, make sure that you know more about it and you know that you're going to be able to use it in the near future. I might be giving this away because I don't feel comfortable on having this in my stand storage because it's literally very useless to me. So I might just give it away to someone who's going to find it more useful later on. But that there is the Bari Bari no Mi. I think I'm done talking about it. So once again, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. Any question is available. But once again, that should be it. Yes, thank you for watching. And maybe see you again in the next video if you do plan on watching that. So yeah, bye.